The Made in Hawaii Festival kicked off today. Nearly 400 vendors are set up at Ala Moana Center for three days of supporting and shopping with local businesses. Kamakapili has more. It's made its return. The 28th Made in Hawaii Festival has returned here to Ala Moana Center, and I gotta say, it's bigger and better than last year. Nearly 400 vendors taking up the entire level of the parking lot here at Ala Moana Center. There's so many vendors to speak with. We were able to actually snag two as they were really busy with the crowd, so we won't hold them up too much. But we're here with Kea Peters, who's the owner of Kako Collective. Thank you very much for the time, and congratulations because I see so many people in your booth, and you're sharing that there's a lot of people from the very get-go. But tell us a little bit about what Kako Collective is all about. Um, Kako Collective is my studio. I'm a Native Hawaiian illustrator and essentially um, we specialize in Made in Hawaii stationery. Um, we like to create things that our community can identify with um, to basically give them a place to put down their thoughts, their dreams, their hopes, even to write to their friends and family. Um, and we like to incorporate endemic native and species that are um, special to us as here in Hawaii. How is this year compared to last year? Oh my goodness, it's so much bigger. It's bigger, it's definitely better. We had more of our community come out than we had last year. Um, we're really excited about the turnout and we've even had people from other islands, Japan. Um, it's been a really cool experience and with every person we get to tell our story, we get to connect with um, individuals who've only met on social media. It's been a really cool experience. Thank you very much, Kea. Best of wishes for this weekend. Thank you so much. So that's just one vendor, but there's another vendor, so let's go check them out as well. And the other vendor we were able to snag is Paige Chang, who's the owner of Pukoa Studios. Thank you very much for your time. You look like you have a beautiful booth and you're really focusing on kappa yes. in many different fashions, earrings and, and hats Hat and so bands, yeah. Tell us a little bit about the pandemic and how challenging that was for you as a business owner and how beneficial Made in Hawaii is for your brand. Um, Made in Hawaii has been fabulous. My first show was the year before the pandemic hit and it was remarkable and I was brand new to this whole thing. And then the pandemic hit, the big pandy, and it was brutal, you know, the retail stores closed, the schools closed, I was teaching in the schools, the festival shut down. So it, it was brutal, but we made it through. We started, I started teaching at home. I do workshops there, I still do workshops. Um, and coming back last year, for uh, Made in Hawaii was wonderful. It was a little bit smaller because we hadn't opened up completely. And this year we've already made, we made today's goal like early and it's been wonderful, it's been cool, it's been packed. Um, and so we're looking forward to you know a long relationship with the Made in Hawaii Festival, for sure. Well, thank you very much again and best wishes for this weekend. Again, this is the 28th Made in Hawaii Festival here at Ala Moana Center in the parking lot. Now, you still tickets are still available. You have a two-hour slot ticket or an all-day ticket. To find out all that information, be sure to visit our website, khon2.com. Kamakopi with khon 2 News. I got to get my Christmas presents. Back to you in the studio.